Hello and welcome back to Basic Yoga. We are going to work our way into a side plank today where we extend from our center and out the arms. So this one will go well with um, yin yoga that is for the lung meridian or this will work well for a single solo practice as well to work from the core work from the midline and out so let's take a comfortable seat on our mat please crossing the legs into sukhasana siddhasana happy pose anything that is comfortable for you to have your seat with so let's sit nice and tall on the sit bones and we'll start with our um, 30 breaths of fire breath to get the energy pumping through the body and kind of wake us up a little bit and also to do that exchange of energy midline and out to the side of the body so let's extend the arms all the way out fold your four fingers in take your thumbs up towards the sky and we'll take three nice ujjayi breaths or three even breaths through the nose through the mouth whichever way that works for you to breathe if it works to breathe through the nose then please do that take a nice big inhale and exhale extend out from the midline out the arms inhale and exhale inhale exhale and inhale halfway and pump your breath 30 times here we go Bring your thumbs together above your head, hold the breath out, and bring it all the way back in. And then we'll take and bring your arms around to the shoulder blades and extend out. And other side, just wrap your arms opposite side, and again, and we'll just start to come around the spine and extend and round and extend and round and extend one more each side and extend and round and extend and then from here we're going to move the breath out and bring it back in and move the breath out and bring it back in exhale round your spine inhale raise up exhale round back inhale and exhale and we'll move it a little bit faster exhale inhale exhale inhale and keep that going Three more. One more. And release. And from here, come all the way down onto your back, please. And raise your arms up towards the sky. Take your legs up into tabletop, bring your lower belly all the way in and we'll opposite arm, opposite leg and extend from the midline and out. And at the same time, we hug from the skin to the muscle and muscle to bone. And you might stay here with your head down and you might lift your shoulder blades and move from there, from your core. And getting a little juice going through all parts of the body exhale inhale exhale inhale and exhale inhale and we'll do another 
three rounds. And another two rounds. Have fun with it. Hugging the midline, finding your center and extending out from there. Excellent. And take your arms up and over. Knees into the chest. Let's roll all the way up and come to all fours. Arch the spine to the sky. And bring it back down and arch it up to the sky, cat cow, arching it back down and bringing it up and two more times to make sure that we have opened the pathways around the spine, from the side, from the front, from the back. One more, freeing up any stagnant energy and come back to neutral please take your right arm out to the side come up onto your left fingertips and take your arm up to the sky open the chest the waist and come underneath don't even go down to the floor bring it back up yes and take it underneath and bring it back up and take it underneath and bring it back up and let's do two more here with a nice breath for the lungs, for the side body and come all the way back down and take your left arm out to the side, come up onto your right fingertips. Maybe this is where your left arm is. Maybe you lift it up towards the sky and we would underneath, not even going down to the floor, just hovering over the floor. And again, lifting, clearing. It's like a nice big extension for the lungs. And two more here. Bring it underneath. Take it up. And underneath. And last one. Bring it all the way back down. Nice. Come to all fours. Grab your yoga mat with your hands. Scrunch it up. And toes under. Come into a knees bent down dog so like a hybrid down dog or tiger dog or however you like to think of it just clearing the space from your hips plugging your femurs in to the shoulders through the shoulders through the arms and then taking your right heel down your left heel down your right heel getting maybe some spontaneous adjustments in your ankles and knees and hips those are my favorites in down dogs, clearing the energies and the pathways. And taking your hands into your downward facing dog. Step one foot between your hands and come over into feet wide apart. Take your hands forward and hinge and fall back. and come back with your hands under your shoulders bending over to the right side knee and elbow is meeting taking it up and over and knee and elbow open up into the midline into the adductors we're just going to go a little bit back and forth and just kind of pulsating flowing and then we'll come to the right side and flip your heel down and toes up. Flip yourself over to the right side, knee to the floor. Take your hands to your right thigh, arch the spine up to the sky and release the arms, sweep them forward, plug your upper arm bones in, take your arms up to the sky. Nice. And then from here, take your hands behind you, interlace roll your shoulders open or take your elbows and just simply lift the chest open into the shoulders pull your ears back and one more breath here and exhale release arms down turn your palms bring it back up anja asana lean forward in your hips thigh stretch and exhale release and we come back with your right arm inside your right knee. Flip your left leg off of the floor. 
with your heel down and your toes up and take it up and over to the second side. Heel down, toes up on your right side and come over to the side. Put your right knee down, hands to your thigh and arch your spine. Take your arms forward, pull your upper arm bones in. Take your arms all the way up, long side body. Just a nice big um, hugging in and extending out, finding our bend line. Take the hands behind, interlace your hands the different way here and open up your chest, your shoulders with your shoulder stretch right here. Or you might take your elbows or you might have your hands um, to the side. They might not even interlace. Lift your heart, your chest, your lungs, take your ears back. Just a nice shoulder stretch and exhale, release the hands, turn your palms, inhale, palms up, hands either apart or together, come forward in the hips for Anjasana. Low lunge, thigh stretch, and exhale, hands to the floor, come back to the midline, and flip yourself back up into a Skandasana um, adductor stretch and come into feet wide apart, please. Take your peace fingers around your big toes and let your shoulders open up, elbows to the side, top of the head towards the floor. Micro bend in towards your knees. and slowly release and come into downward facing dog pose Adho Mukha Svanasana down dog excellent and from here roll all the way forward to plank pose hands and toes so we're gonna hang out here for a moment and lower the hips I have a tendency to think I'm in plank pose and have my hips really high up um, but see if you can lower the hips and then float the side of the ribs up instead. And that way we get nice and deep in towards the core and in towards the midline. From here, take your knees to the floor. Take your kickstand, your right foot out and extend your left arm and take your left arm up to the sky. Take it up and over for a side plank supported version. Take the gaze up and underneath the upper arm and just open up into the whole left side of the body. Exhale, arm back up to the center and switch to the second side. Kickstand your left foot out, toes under, right foot stretches out, side body lengthening. Take the right arm up and over for a supported side plank. It should feel pretty good for the side body, it should feel good for the ribs, the spaces between them for the heart, for the chest, for the lungs. Glue your right foot behind you and then slowly take your hands back down and come into downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Walking your feet forward and come into half forward fold, either fingers on the floor or hands underneath the knees and then hinge and fold from there. Hands to hips, elbows to sky. Come up to standing and release the hands. Take the arms all the way up and side crescent stretch. And second side, bring it up and over. And take it all the way back out, hands to the side. Let's take our right foot into tree pose, please. So tree pose can be ankle, knee, or it can travel up to the adductors. Hands together in front of the heart. And just hugging the midline, skin to muscle, muscle to bone, and then from there blasting out and just clearing and cleaning and purifying all layers. Arms might come above our head, maybe arms to the side, whichever works for you and exhale bring it back down take your right knee into your chest and then release it back down tree pose second side 
either down by the ankle or moving it up or foot inside your adductors pick one that works for you and have this nice micro bend in your supporting leg and your ankle and your knee and your hip works differently on both sides and have different conduct of energy so see what works for you maybe you have your hand on a chair or on the wall hands together sweep the arms up and over the head and maybe separate the hands for a little bit more um, feeling in towards the shoulders of a clear line if that works for you, wherever you feel comfortable. One more breath and then hands down and hug your left knee into the chest and then send it all the way back down. Nice. Come to the, um, separate your feet wide apart. Let's do that. Let's skip the down dog and we'll just come all the way right here. Take your right heel in and we're gonna come into a warrior two. Flip your right palm up, sail it up and back, and take your right forearm to the thigh, sweep it up and back, and take it up, crescent, right arm, take your fingers behind your right shin ankle, left hand to the hip. And from here, we're going to take the right hand fully down and lean back onto the hand claw the fingertips and then we're going to move your right leg underneath the left and come into side plank this way and again you can, might step one foot over you might have your bottom leg down on the floor or you might be in your side plank take the top arm over the ear stack your feet flex your toes take the gaze up and underneath the upper arm and extend out through the bottom of the feet and exhale Take it all the way back down to the hip and hands to the floor. And from here, take your downward facing dog. Let's flow through vinyasa. Come all the way down. Inhale to cobra, inner shoulder to outer shoulder. Exhale, flow into child's pose, please. And downward facing dog right foot between the hands or simply turn so that we're facing each other and hands to the hips press the feet come up to standing arms out to the side come to the second side warrior two with your left knee over your left ankle and come into reclining warrior sailing it up and back and up and over extending and up and back and left fingers to the outside of your left ankle shin or ankle hand to the hip and then from here left hand comes to the floor claw the fingertips use the core and extend your left foot underneath you for side plank and again you might take your foot and move it over for support take the top arm over the ear nice and take the gaze up and underneath flex your feet extend your feet away from the midline and exhale release hands to the floor downward facing dog and from here come forward to plank pose and come to the floor inhale to your cobra inner shoulder to outer shoulder exhale Bring it back down, child's pose, please. And come up to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Anchor into your hands, anchor into your feet. Step your right foot between the hands. And we're going to come back and turn over um, onto the left hand. We were just there. So we're on the same side again. Take and turn your toes um, towards the right side. So all 10 toes are turned away from the midline. Right arm up and over and like a nice big arch of the body and then sinking the left hip down and then taking it all the way back and up and sinking your left hip down 
and bringing it back up and again sinking back down and breaking it up this time take your arms straight up and it's like you have a little hold up here take your right foot and stack it over your left for one more side plank one more extension out of the arms top arm over the ear and exhale hand to the floor downward facing dog and then we'll do the same thing on the left side so step your left foot forward between your hands turn all of your ten toes over to the side so away from the midline and then turn your right palm slightly out claw the fingertips left arm up to the sky and we're on the pinky toe side on the right foot we'll make a nice big arch of the body and bring it back down and just breathing and using our arms like a nice big extension of breath as we're making this nice big arches up and over and come down to that side and take a little pause in between and then bring it back up this time the arm comes straight up like a like a little somebody's holding a hand up there and then step your left foot over your right and come into side plank the arm can come over the head the ear and from here exhale bring it back down downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana hmm. and from here take child's pose please big toes together knees apart stretch the arms forward sink your hips all the way down active child's pose with your arms lifted off of the floor palms down and then we'll kind of come up to our forearms and take down dog with forearms so half down dog palms down and then from here come into plank forearm plank last version and so this will be kind of a fun little grand finale of extending the breath as we're moving side to side so we're going to take the palms together and place the thumbs together and the fingers together and the forearms are on the floor and we're going to go back to the left side and have the feet like in one in front of the other and then lift your right elbow and your thumb and your index finger is together and then we lift up and kind of look underneath and that's quite the extension for the whole chest and side of the waist and then take it back down and flip yourself over to the second side on the right side so your thumb and your index are together and your left elbow comes up to the sky extending and take it back down and we'll do that two more times on each side flip your right elbow up and bring it back down the breath should be flowing pretty strongly right now take it up and over and exhale bring it back down one more each side last one right elbow up and bring it back down and just flip your feet nice and safely they're stacked one in front of the other and exhale bring it back down hold your plank and we'll take 30 fire breaths right here come to your knees at any time we're just gonna start pumping the breath in the lower belly down dog breathing downward facing dog walk your feet to your hands take a hand in each and elbow widen your feet bend into your knees and let your body relax upper body relax swing side to side
and release the hands and come all the way down into a squat and then sit down, heels down, arms forward and we'll roll on the spine three times. We'll take it down and then back up and bring it all the way up. Inhale and exhale. And bring it up. And exhale, take it all the way back down. Arms out and around like a windmill. Take your legs out to the side, press your head, adjust your shoulder blades, and we'll let all those poses assimilate into one pose, Shavasana. And there's a nice smile from shoulder to shoulder. We might press the head to adjust the shoulder blades underneath us. And the smile runs out alongside the arms. There is a nice exchange of breath and energy, life force in the palms, fingers are curled. And the rest of the body is following the same pattern of just relaxing, releasing, integrating all the poses that we just did and all the different energy pathways that get moved around and is having a new place to move from or move into. Giving ourselves a few moments to integrate all of that. Taking three nice deep breaths. And moving your toes and your fingers. And moving your way around until you come up into a comfortable seated position, crossing your legs, sitting comfortable, and extending the arms out and press, having your palms facing up. You can have your thumb and your index finger together. Letting there be a nice clear line from your lungs, out the arms, out the palms, clear breath in the throat. Pathways are clear to all parts of the body. A nice exchange of health, vitality, energy, life force to all parts. gently from here take your hands together in front of your heart and we'll close our practice up with an om together if you'd like to join me we'll take a nice big inhale oh. 
thank you so much for joining me. I love having you here and practicing with. Um, I am very much looking forward to our new classes together after this yin yoga series and this basic yang yoga series. Uh, we'll move on to some more flowy practices. So stay tuned for that. And until then, I will see you here, maybe in this class or in the previous one or in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day and thanks again for practicing with me. I truly enjoy having you here and I'll see you soon. Be safe, everyone. We'll give each other a nice big hug again from the heart, from the lungs. And I'll just send it all the way out. Thank you. Namaste.